Welcome to Graphing Sums and Products. So when we sketch uh, the sum, the difference or the product of two functions, we for the sum we add, for the difference we subtract, and for the product we multiply the ordinates. That's the y coordinates that go with each x value for each function. So we're going to have a look at an example. Um, we're going to look at uh, f of x is x squared minus 16, which we know is a parabola, and g of x, which is a straight line. And we're going to sketch using first method will be a table of values, and a second method would be solving as an equation. So for the first one, we're going to do uh, the sum. For the second one, we're going to do the uh, difference. And for the third one, we're going to do the product. So here's our first one. We're going to add the two functions together. So this uh, we'll use each time at the start of each uh, one. So the red is x squared minus 16. You'll see it passes at minus 4 and 4, and its turning point is at minus 16 on the y-axis. And 6x is a straight line, gradient 6 passing through the origin. So there are all the coordinates. So for each of the um, values of x, and now we're going to add the y coordinates to come up with the y coordinates for h of x. So let's just do the first one. So when x is minus 4, f of x is 0, g of x is minus 24, h of x is minus 24. So you'll notice that when we're adding, wherever the function, the f of x or the g of x is 0, the uh, addition is just the um, value of the other function, because obviously if you're adding 0, you don't get anywhere. Um, obviously, the new function is at 0 when the two y values are the same, but one is the opposite in sign. And so at 2, we obviously get that for this one. So when we look at that, and if we were to plot all of those by hand, we would form what's a, what looks like a parabola. Um, so you can see that in green, we have now plotted all of the x values with the corresponding y values for h of x. If we were to solve this, f of x plus g of x is x squared minus 16 plus 6x. That's a parabola that passes through 2 and minus 8, and that's what we had before. Uh, obviously, halfway between 2 and minus 8 is minus 3, and that becomes our vertex. Let's now have a look at when we do the difference of the two. So here's our graph again of the uh, parabola and the straight line. So now we're going to subtract the function f of x minus the g of x function, and we're going to subtract the y values. So let's make sure with the first one, so 0 minus minus 24 gives us 24. With the second one, minus 7 minus minus 18 gives us 11, etc. as we go across. You may notice this also looks like a parabola because at the end, at 2, 3, and 4, we have a symmetry and a turning point. So if we were to plot all of those, we would end up with a parabola. Let's have a look. And there's our parabola. So um, we've got x squared minus 16, 6x minus 16. This now passes through minus 2 and 8 instead. Uh, with our vertex of 3, uh, minus 25. So the products are really difficult one. So we'll graph it, um, and then we'll work from there. So when we, uh, here's our original ones. The beauty of this one is that when uh, each function is at 0, 0 multiplied by anything is 0. So that's going to be always where it crosses the x-axis. So you can see there's um, there's our two graphs with the significant points. So at minus 4, the f of x is 0. At uh, 0, when x is 0, the g of x is 0. And at 4, the f of x is 0. So they're going to be all of our 0 points where it crosses the axis. So multiplying through the y coordinates, um, obviously the first one 0, 7, 18 to 126, minus times a minus, etc. as you move across. This is going to look pretty awful because it's going to look, uh, say, very um, 
uh, it's got a high turning point. So as you can see, that's um, that's it sketch stretched out. Um, thanks to Desmos for sketching these ones. Um, so solving this um, cubic, uh, so the multiplication of two functions, you get x squared minus 16 times 6x. Uh, so put the 6x out the front and factorize the uh, difference of two squares, meaning we have our cubic passing the x-axis at 0, minus 4, and 4. As you can see, the turning point, this is something that's um, discussed in HSC mathematics, uh, how you find the turning point. So we won't look at that in this video, um, but Desmos has helped us with um, where that turning point happens to be. All right, thank you.